It's my pleasure to welcome Archbishop Rowan to Darby and to welcome him and all of you to the stadium tonight. I'm personally looking forward to the program. And um, it's my pleasure now to turn it, uh, turn it over to our host so we can begin. And that's uh, Bishop of Darby, uh, Alistair Redfern. Friends, I want to welcome you all and say what a great honor and privilege it is to have the Archbishop of Canterbury visiting our diocese and county this weekend. And I'm also extremely grateful to colleagues from the county who've come to make a panel, really, so that we can explore some issues and debate them together. So thank you all very much for coming, and I'm going to ask uh, Rick Hattersley if he would come first and talk about making a difference through politics. So Rick, ladies and gentlemen, for a politician to make a difference, he or she has to be more than well-intended, compassionate and good-hearted. He or she has to have a very clear view of the sort of society that he or she wishes to build. So who are the volunteers then? I'm sure there are many in the audience today. The last citizenship survey found that 40% of adults have volunteered formally at least once in the last 12 months, though the Daily Telegraph today said that it had fallen to 39%, the lowest level since 2001. This decline, sadly, is being seen across all forms of public involvement and is definitely, therefore, a setback for the big society and the localism agendas. The Archbishop uh, comes to Derby at an uh, extremely challenging time. Um, unfortunately, our business community over the last few weeks has had to announce uh, potential redundancies at the level not seen in this city for 30 years. Um, and we are all, as business, very mindful of the effects that that has. Um, Derby is a great place to invest um, and it's our job as business to convince people um, not only from this country but from abroad to come here, invest here and, and to build their facilities here. We have a tremendous skill base. Um, we have to remember that Rolls-Royce, Toyota, Bombardier are global leaders in their own business and sometimes we forget that because we're very close to them but they can go these, com these companies can go virtually anywhere in the world and have facilities, and we need them here in Derby to make us prosperous here as a city. The Christian Church exists because 2,000 years ago, something persuaded people to think differently about themselves and their immediate environment. The Christian Church began because a difference had been made. The kind of difference that the Church makes is giving you different pictures of who you are and what your relations can be. Instead of freezing you in what you think is comfortable and obvious about yourself and your world, it projects you into thinking afresh about who you are and therefore about what you're capable of. It tells you something you never realized about God that in turn reveals something you never realized about yourself.